back to my channel. So yeah, I know it's been a while since I made a video like talking and stuff, but I'm sorry I've been super busy with work and other things, but I hope I can make it up to you with this video. I guess most of you are already in school or going back to school, so I thought it would be a perfect idea to do a desk makeover. I made one in like February or so and you like it so much so I made another one with like a different theme, kind of. So yeah, I hope you like it and if you are new to my channel, hi, I am Sue, welcome to this channel and don't forget to subscribe if you watch the video and you like it and you wanna see more videos like this. So yeah, without further ado, let's start with the video. Two. So for the first project you will need a glass, like a curvy one like this and a fuzzy sock in grey. So you will need to put the glass into the sock like this and then cut the excess. You can also secure it with a little bit of hot glue. And for the belly part I took a piece of cardstock as a template and I covered it with a piece of white fuzzy sock, only on one of the sides like so. Then cut the excess fabric and glue it onto the main piece with some hot glue and you can use other types of glue if you want. To make the ears I made the shape turning like the edges in, giving them like a round shape and securing it with hot glue. You will of course need two of them and then you can glue them on the top part as you see. And for the little marks on the belly I made the shape on paper and I glued the fabric on and cut the excess around the sides and the reason I did it like this is because otherwise the fabric by itself would shed a lot and it wouldn't hold the shape so yeah and of course I made three of them. The little arms are exactly like the ears so make two more pieces and stick them on the sides. You can make them bigger if you want and for the face I cut some felt pieces in black and white and I use a marker to make the pupils and stick them too onto the face part. And that's it, I think it turned out so 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 cute. I really like Totoro but if you don't, although I don't know why you wouldn't, but yeah you can also make a little panda or another animal. For the second DIY you will need a fake flower, like a rose or anything else you want. So you will need to separate the top part, it's usually pretty easy. And take out the bottom part of a pen, you can trim it a little bit like this. So the flower can fit in and you will need to secure it with some glue too. Then take the leaves and we will use this to glue them to decorate the pen. It's super simple, just glue them down like so, but be careful and don't burn yourself. But yeah, start from the flower part and go down to the actual pen part. And finally I also decided to glue some pieces on the sides like as decoration and that's it. I have seen these in stores before but I didn't really like how they look like. I think this DIY actually turned out more realistic so yeah I hope you try it too. For the next project I printed these illustrations, I will link them down below. Uh, you can use other pictures too of course and then print them, cut them and you will also need to cut a bunch of regular paper pieces of the same size. Now I use this little paper as my template so all the holes for the notebooks are on the same place, if that makes sense. And then I obviously made all the holes with a punch. I decided that I wanted a thicker cover so I stick the cover pieces to some cardstock. You can of course skip this step and then I cut the excess from the sides. I also rounded the bottom corners like this and I made the back with a cardstock piece. And to hold everything together I used these hoops or jump rings. I think they are for making jewelry and things like that. 
but yeah I just simply open them and pass them through the holes and then close them with some pliers. And this is it, some of you asked me in my last video to make some notebooks from scratch so I hope you like my take on them. I think they look adorable to like take little notes or make lists on your desk. The next project is super super simple, you just take some cardstock and cut a square and a rectangle like this. And then I cut a piece of foam but you can use another cardstock piece if you want and cut it to give it like the shape of a lipstick top. And when you stick them all together you will have a super cute lipstick like this. And now you can simply glue it to a clip and you can hide the back with another piece of cardstock if you want. But as you can see this took like 5 minutes and it's a super easy way to make cute clips for your planner or notebooks and stuff. And as a little decoration for your wall, start off making a rectangle on a word office document and paint it any color you want, of course I chose pink, and write one letter at a time and repeat this with all the letters you want. Then print and cut them and take some yarn, I think it's called yarn, yeah, yeah, and simply attach the letters with some tape. Uh, voila! You can of course write something else too, like a cool motivational quote to help you study for when you are on your desk. So this is the final result, how everything looks together. You can add more decorations like a plant and other things you have at home to make it super fun and personal. I hope you like the video, I hope you like all these little ideas and ah, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. So I hope you are having a great back to school season and remember that learning is the most important thing but you have to make it fun, like with these DIYs and maybe songs and stuff. Thank you so so much for watching and I talk to you in my next video. Love you, bye!